Hello, you're watching the Auto Advisor channel. Ever wondered, does the weight of a car affect its braking distance? Well, we're about to dive into the physics of braking. Braking distance, a term you might have come across, is simply how far your car travels after you hit the brakes before it comes to a complete stop. It's a crucial consideration for any driver, as it directly impacts your ability to avoid obstacles or hazards on the road. Several factors can influence this distance. The speed at which you're traveling, for instance, plays a significant role. The faster you're going, the longer it'll take to stop. Road conditions, too, can alter braking distances. A wet or icy road can increase the distance needed to halt your vehicle. And then there's the weight of your car. Does it really affect how quickly you can stop? Stay with us as we delve deeper into this intriguing question. Understanding the physics of braking is simpler than you might think. Let's dive into the world of physics, where force, friction, and motion intersect to bring your car to a halt. To start, we need to understand what happens when you press that brake pedal. It's all about force. The force you apply to the brake pedal is multiplied by the brake system and transferred to the brake pads. This force acting on the brake pads creates friction on the wheels, which in turn slows down the wheel's rotation. It's like when you rub your hands together, the friction generated creates heat, and that's precisely what happens with your brake pads and wheels. But the story doesn't end there. The friction created is what we call kinetic friction, and it's vital in slowing and eventually stopping your vehicle. Imagine sliding a book across a table. It'll eventually stop due to the friction between the book and the table, right? That's kinetic friction at work. Now let's talk about how different factors can influence this braking process. One key factor is the condition of your tires. Tires with a good grip are able to create more friction with the road surface, slowing your car down more effectively. Another factor is the quality of your brake pads. If they're worn out, they won't generate enough friction to stop your car quickly. The type of surface you're driving on also plays a role. On a wet or icy road, for instance, the friction between your tires and the road decreases making it harder for your car to stop. That's why driving in such conditions requires extra caution. And let's not forget about speed. The faster you're going, the more kinetic energy your car has. And since energy can't be created or destroyed, only transformed, that means a lot of energy needs to be dissipated as heat through the braking process. So higher speeds require more braking force and more time to stop. Now that we've got the basics down, let's see how weight plays into all of this. So, does the weight of a car affect its braking distance? The answer might surprise you. Let's delve into this topic to clear up some common misconceptions. Yes, a heavier vehicle does require more force to come to a complete halt. However, this doesn't necessarily translate into a longer braking distance. Why is that, you ask? The reason lies in the physics of braking. As a vehicle's weight increases, the downward force it exerts on the tires also increases. This additional force improves the tire's grip on the road, thereby compensating for the increased stopping force required. It's a delicate balance, a dance of forces, if you will, between the weight of the vehicle and the grip of the tires. Misunderstanding this balance can lead to false assumptions about the role of weight in braking distance. It turns out weight is not the main factor affecting braking distance. If weight isn't the main factor, what is, you may ask? Well, let's delve into the main factors that influence braking distance. First up, tire condition. Good, well-maintained tires are crucial for proper braking, as worn-out tires can significantly increase the braking distance. Next on the list is road surface. A dry, well-paved road offers the best conditions for braking. On the other hand, wet, icy, or gravelly surfaces can cause your car to slide, thus lengthening the braking distance. But here's the kicker. The most impactful factor in braking distance is your speed. Higher speed means more kinetic energy to dissipate, which translates to longer braking distances. So, the best way to ensure a shorter stopping distance is simply to maintain a safe speed. So remember, while the weight of your car does have an impact on braking, speed is the real game changer when it comes to stopping in time.